Welcome everyone, this is Dr. Abdurafi here again, back with the remaining coverage of the chapter Metal and Alloys. In this video, we will learn about the structure and properties of alloys and in the upcoming videos, we will discuss about the cooling curves. So, the structure and properties of alloys. I will going to start from the very basic that what are alloys. Basically, alloy is a mixture of two or more metals and in this mixture, if two metals are used, then it is termed as binary alloys and if in this mixture, three metals are used, then it is termed as ternary alloys. When you melt two alloys and mix them and then you alloy them, allow them to cool. So, one of four things then happen. Number one is that these two alloys may remain soluble in each other that the component metals may remain soluble in each other forming a solid solution. Now this solid solution can have three forms. Number one is random solid solution in which atoms occupy random sites and in crystal lattice. And secondly there is a ordered solid solution in which atoms occupy specific sites in the crystal lattice and thirdly interstitial solid solution in which primary lattice sites are occupied by one metal atom and atoms of second component do not occupy lattice sites these solid solutions are more hard more strong and they have more elastic limit than the pure metals that is why pure metals are rarely used for the applications in dentistry so as i mentioned earlier when you melt the two alloys and mix them together one of four things happens first thing i have mentioned earlier and the second thing is that the these metals may remain insoluble the component metals may be completely insoluble in solid state and this type of alloy is susceptible to electrolytic corrosion why because of the presence of pure metal a and pure metal b so due to the difference in their electrochemical electrochemical potential there is a risk of electrolytic corrosion now thirdly what happens is that these two metals uh, may remain partially soluble in the solid states and solubility of metals is directly proportional to the temperature as temperature drops the ability of solubility of metals drops too and these partially soluble alloys occurs more frequently than the previously insoluble alloys and the last thing is the formation of intermetallic compounds when two metals have uh, particular affinity among themselves they form intermetallic compounds with precise chemical formula example silver tin alloys and these intermetallic compounds will be hard brittle and they will have low ductility because they have particular valence stability so there will be less deformity in the crystal structure so they will resist the dislocation along slip planes that's why they have low ductility now lastly the solution hardening when two or more metals are allowed to be melt and then they are mixed together the effect of solution hardening occurs now what is solution hardening basically it is thought to be that different atomic red eyes of different metals in one solution form a crystal structure so what happens is they form a mechanical resistance so that movement of dislocations along slip planes does not occur now we will give it a read it is thought to be due to the fact that atoms of different atomic red eye 
because there are more than two or two metals mixed within the same lattice form a mechanical resistance to the movement of dislocations along slip planes so basically solution hardening will will reduce the ability of ductility